So I'm going to show you guys the object lesson that you'll be doing um, this weekend, November 24th in um, Children's Church. Um, Daniel will also be doing this during the lesson, but I just wanted you guys to kind of see um, my thought process. So you'll have two jars of water, a thing of food coloring, and then you'll have another container of oil, but I'm just going to pour it out of the bottle because that's easier. Um, so you're just going to say, you know, these two glasses represent um, people. So you can tell um, they don't look exactly the same. Um, there's differences in them. Um, but we're gonna see what happens when one of them becomes a Christian. Um, we are covered, it says in the Bible, by Jesus's blood um, and we are filled with the Holy Spirit. You can tell from the outside, um, the color still looks very similar. Um, from the outside, if you couldn't see through these glasses, you wouldn't be able to tell that things are very different. Um, but what is very different is their response to sin. So our food coloring represents our sin. You can see it's very dark, it's messy. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever helped your parents cook, but if you put um, some um, food coloring on your hand, it can uh, stain your skin. It is very difficult to get off. Um, so similarly, being a part of the world, we all are going to be opposed, uh, uh, exposed to sin. Um, you can see for someone that um, is not a believer, um, sin really does spread and infect um, who we are. Um, we cannot protect ourselves from sin, um, no matter how hard we try. Um, just like the Pharisees who um, did not want to believe and obey who God said um, Jesus was and the way that he was making to fulfill the law, they instead tried, um, obviously without um, success, to um, fulfill the law on their own power. Um, but again, if we go back to our Christian um, who has been covered with Jesus, um, obviously we still are going to, um, sin, we're still going to mess up. Um, but just like how the oil is encapsulating the food coloring, um, Jesus on the cross, um, accepted the weight of all our sin. So you can see now, um, sin doesn't become a part of who we are. Um, if we confess and turn, God um, will forgive our sin. And the Bible even says that we are made a new creation, that the old has passed away and the new has come. So not by ourselves, but by relying on Jesus and confessing our sin to God and seeking God, um, sin is no longer a part of who we are. So again, pretty good visual um, representation of the lesson I felt um, Daniel will do, uh, this, like I said, during the lesson, and then you guys will have, um, these same materials at your stations to go through this with the kids. You can, you know, have them, um, take each part and try to teach it to the other kids. Um, you can review it together before you do that. Um, but that's kind of the application that we're going to use of the lesson this week.